Hey guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. In today's video, we're doing a full face of Kiko makeup. I have managed to find a bunch of things that I've not tried from Kiko. I feel like I've tried just about everything, but they bring out new collections all the time. And um, I got some newness here, so we're gonna throw it on my face. And I really fancy doing, hence the brown eyes, like a really bold block blue eye. So that's what we're doing today. Let's try this out. Toast headband. It's not very often you guys get the brown eyes anymore. I know some of you love it. So here I am, here they are, here are my eyes. As you can probably tell by my shiny shiny face, I've already moisturized, but I am gonna use this here as kind of like a primer. It's the Skin Trainer CC Blur in the shade Neutral. I have actually used this before, so not off to the best like first impression start, but this stuff is actually really, really good. It's like kind of reminds me of Professional and it does like a similar kind of job. It just really like blurs everything out and also like lightly tints your skin, I would say. If you want like a no makeup makeup situation, this could be a good shout for you because it does really blur everything out. Hello. Look at my shiny nose. Not so shiny anymore. So yeah, I'm just kind of using this as a primer in some of the areas where I have a bit more pores or I'm a bit more oily. There's fluff all over my face. I'm very like jingly jangly today. Stop getting distracted. Okay. I'm gonna do my eyes first today. I'm gonna use their neutral eye base, which I've tried a couple of times, but only for like kind of smoky eye looks. It's stuck in the tube. There we go. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger. This is very much gonna be a trust the process kind of situation. Whenever I do my eyes first, I feel like I just look mental. Okay, so I have two of their Cult Colors eyeshadow palettes. We've got one that looks like it's mostly mattes with a few shimmers. And then we have a basically a full on shimmery version. So we've got these two here. I think I'm gonna play around with maybe this color. Kind of wanna just like shove that all over my lid to be honest. Let's do a little swatch of this first, just to make sure, you know. That looks very, very nice. Okay, sweet. And then we have this dark blue as well. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go for the first one. I'm gonna take the tiniest bit of this shade and actually maybe a little bit of this like gray color as well, just to pop in my crease. Just so I've got something to blend into everything with. I'm then just gonna go straight in with a little flat brush and take the shimmer. I hope this works out how I want it to work out in my head. Lemonade, please. Oh, I already love it. I am the, f this is done. This is the finished look, wow. But no, this is actually banging. So I'm just gonna coat all of my lid and then I'm gonna kind of sharpen up the edges in a second. Cause yeah, I do think I'm gonna go like quite dramatic blocky eye. I just woke up this morning and I was looking at myself and I was like, you know what this needs? Blue, that's what we need. I'm now gonna, do I have any setting spray? I'm just gonna lick my brush, okay? This is, if you wanna use setting spray or like a more professional setup, that's fine. But spit, my face, my brush, my palette. Also, I feel like, you know what? I feel like spit does just sometimes work a little bit better. That is that is a sentence that could also be in another conversation, not one that I would ever have. Okay, I'm gonna really try and sharpen up this line now. You know that age old quote of like, when in doubt, just spit on it? This eyeshadow is so great. This is dope. I might leave it at this shape for a minute. I'm probably gonna extend it a little bit more in a sec, but I just think for right now, I'm just gonna kind of leave it like this. Just gonna sharpen it up a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, let's do the other eyeball. Greetings. I have uneven eyelids. I have realized that. Trying to make it even. There'll be many tweaks throughout the video with the eyeballs. So if you see them change, don't worry. I'm, I just keep looking at them and I'm like, this side needs to go up. This side needs to be big. I think it's just my eyeballs to be honest. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna move on to a BB cream. I've actually not tried this before. It's the Daily Protection BB Cream with SPF 30 and I am using the shade Warm Almonds. Oh, we need the macro. We need the macro. Macro, it sounds like I'm saying mackerel. We need the macro. The macro lens, that's what we're now calling it. I'm just gonna wiggle. I have no idea how full coverage this is gonna be. Oh, there's a bit of coverage, we can take it. I think I got rid of most of the blue from under my eyes. There was a little bit of fallout, but nothing too crazy, but we'll soon find out if suddenly my beige foundation starts turning like blue or green. Color theory, yes. I don't know if you guys saw as well, I've got like a little like bruise here. I have my um, master bo bo 
<laughs> masseter Botox done a couple of days ago. So I've got a couple of little teeny tiny bruises, but they just kind of look like spots to be honest. But it's covering that up quite well, actually. See? I look mental. I look like that, um, what was that? Was it Momo? I I'm gonna put a picture on screen now. Wait, young children leave the room. It's very scary. Ta-da! I feel like I look like that right now. Yeah, you can see. A little bit of coverage on this side. That's my skin normally. Pretty good, actually. We can we can roll with that. And the colour is pretty good as well. If you're like a kind of standard fake tanny sort of colour, which is what I am, because my natural tan has just fallen off of my body. Thanks. Uh, then this colour should work fairly well for you. Michael, what do you need? What's the matter? You're just circulating around my office. Michael's like one of those prefects in Harry Potter, aren't you? Do you remember the game? The first game? No, the second game, Chamber of Secrets on PlayStation 2, when they caught you and they would do this. That's Michael right now. I really don't know why I'm drinking another frickin' energy drink. I've already had a coffee and another one of these and I'm like, bah. It's either that or I drink water like a normal person. Okay, BB cream on. Looks pretty good actually, it's got fairly decent coverage, so I'm into that. I'm now gonna move on to, these are both the same color, but they look different. They are different, they are not the same color. I'm now gonna move on to this concealer and I'm not gonna use the primer side. They've got like an under eye primer situation on this side, but obviously I've already done everything else. So I'm just gonna go straight in with this side and I'm using the shade number four. This is the Radiance Boost Concealer Duo. Really brighten up my under eyes here. Oh yeah, okay, this looks like a very nice, just like natural, your skin but better kind of concealer. Like it's giving me some coverage, but it still doesn't look like too cakey or anything. Okay, how are we doing with this? This looks all right. It has potential in my inner corner here, don't know if you can see with my Momo eyes. It looks like it could go a little bit cakey, so we will have to see, but the coverage is good. Like, not too much. Still looks kind of natural, but slay. Quite happy with this so far. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this contour stick. I've not used this shade before. It's in 201. And these actually blend out really, really nicely. This one's quite cool tone. Do a little bit around here. And a little bit of nose contour. Why not? And blend! Hmm, that might be a bit too cool tone because now I feel like I look like I have mud on my face. Yeah. We're just gonna go in with a clean brush and just blend everything in a little bit more. That's better, that's a little bit better. Okay, good, 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 thank you, thank you. Oh, clean my brushes yesterday, they smell very nice. Okay, we fixed it a little bit there. That's maybe a little bit too cool tone for me for what I personally like, but I feel like we fixed it, okay. I'm now gonna use this powder here, which I don't know where my other one of this went. I don't know if I passed it on to a friend. I don't know where it went, but I have tried this before, but it has been a while. It's like this big puff thing, which I don't really use. It's quite hard, but I like to just use it with a brush. Ugh. Let's see how this concealer powder's down. Yeah, tiny, tiny. Why is my camera so bright now? What's happening? No. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of texture right in there but that is where I tend to get a bit of psoriasis sometimes. See how it gets rid of the shine on my chin. Pretty good. Oh no, something something just happened. There is more all over my desk. This just happened. Okay, let's, ah! Oh my, do I just need to go back to bed? I'm just scooping the powder back in. Anyone got a credit card anywhere? All that white powder on my desk looks very questionable now. It's looking quite nice with the BB cream. Like it looks fine with the um, concealer, but the BB cream definitely does look better. Still got a little bit of sheeny shine. Okay, I'm now gonna go in with this blush here. This is one of their smart blushes in the shade number five. And it just looks like this, nice little peachy pink shade. I'm just gonna take my big fluffy brush. I'm gonna pop that quite high on my cheeks up here. Oh, this is a good color to go with the blue. Touch on my forehead as well, because I haven't put any bronzer there. And on this nose. I like that colour a lot. Wouldn't normally go for this sort of colour blush, it's kind of a bit more like peachy-ish, but with this blue, I really like it. All right. I am very excited to just throw this all over my face. It is the Glow Flute Flute. Help me. Glow Fusion Highlighting Drops, and these are in the shade Goldmine. 
I'm gonna take a little bit on my cheeks and just like put it straight on there and then tap it in with my fingies. Oh, thank goodness. It's like one of those more kind of like oil-based highlighters. So when you go over it, like when you go over powder, it does just work really, really well still. Yeah. Yes. Oh, bloody big fan of that. And before I do it on the other cheek, I wanna try out this now really covered in powder highlighter. This is their Glow Fusion Intense Powder Highlighter in the shade Champagne. And it looks like this. It looks dope. It looks really, really good. Look at that. It basically looks like, you know the, was it number 208, the water eyeshadow that went viral for ages, like way back when, like back in the 70s? It kind of looks like a bigger version of that. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna try it on top of that highlighter first. Ooh, yeah. Okay, let's see. So no liquid highlighter on this side. I only put the tiniest amount on my brush as well. So that's a very, very small amount. A little bit more. Ooh. And it like disappears on your skin as well. It doesn't look like anything on your face. I think I actually might even prefer that to the liquid version. Ooh. Oh, I love it. Look at, yes, big fat yes to this. Okay, let's just throw it all over the rest of my face. Standard procedure here. I'm gonna take my little fan brush as well. I always get questions about this. It's the petite fan brush from Zoeva. I'm pretty sure they still do them, but this is literally like the perfect shape to fit under my eyebrow. So I just like to just kind of like fan a little wiggle of highlighter on under my eye. Uh, just tap that on. Oh, this highlight is freaking great. What a time to be alive. Hmm. Yes, big fan of you. It's powder everywhere. I'm doing things in the most ridiculous order today. I'm now gonna go in with my lips and I'm gonna use the Creamy Color Comfort Lip Liner in the shade 23. Which seems like quite a nice, kind of cool toned, kind of pinky, kind of can't see much what's going on. Which is a nice like cool toned pink. Oh, that actually works better than I thought it would. I was putting it on thinking, is that gonna look that good? Once we tidy it up, I love that color with the eyes. And as you can probably guess, cause it's kind of in the name, these are very, very creamy liners. I've then got this like black glittery, it's called their Jelly Stilo. It's like one of their kind of like tinted lip balms, but it's in this like glittery black shade and I kind of want to try it. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put like a little bit over the top. Yeah, blend that out just to add like a little bit of something on the lips. But actually, it needs a bit of blending out, but actually makes quite a nice color. Ooh, it's quite fun. Okay, again, trust the process. Cause right now I'm, I am also questioning myself. I'm now gonna go in with mascara because I'm gonna kind of like see where the look is at with mascara and then do a couple of tweaks after. So I'm going in with their Smart Color Mascara. They do like, six different shades of this, I think. I might even try a bit of the blue one later as well. But right now I'm just gonna use the black one. Ooh, the wand is very grippy and I just stab myself in the eye. The formula seems quite dry and this is brand new. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I mean, you can't really see because my entire eyelid is blue right now, but it is really gripping my lashes. Okay, that's already making it look a little bit better. I really like the wand on this. Like, I feel like the wand is doing most of the work here. I'm liking this more and more. Okay, good. This is good. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to liner. <gasps> what is happening today? I have this liner from KVD that I've not used before and it I just opened it up and it was like this. So that's interesting. I'm just gonna, oh, now it's gone. <laughs> it's, it's coming back. That was a wild ride. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of this in my waterline both in the top and bottom. Not tried these yet, but see what they're like. I hate doing this. Oh, they're like, they're very, very waxy. Literally nothing is coming out. That, that's good. This, no. Take 27. Let's try this one from Fenty. It's in the shade cause I'm black. Does anything want to draw on my eyeballs today? What is going on? All of these are just dry. Take 324, be right back. Are these gonna draw, oh, falling over. Are these gonna draw on my eyeballs? Let's see. Okay, these are from Illamasqua. I've got two different blue shades. Is it there? Yes. And it's, it's barely even gonna make a difference. Oh, and I put myself, 
I should have just stayed in bed today. And I'm gonna go right down to my inner corner and then go all the way around. I'm gonna try the lighter blue one on my lower waterline. It's in the shades. Uh, that's not the right language. Watch yourselves, people. Debonair. Woo. Whoa. I mean, I poked myself in the eye like seven times whilst doing that, but I like how it looks. I'm actually gonna kind of like bring a little tiny bit of that liner into my like actual inner corner like, on the skin. Right, second eye. Try not to poke it out. Ooh, I quite like that. Okay, we, we did get there in the end. This little light blue liner, which isn't from Kiko, so, you know. This light blue liner is doing bits right now. Oh yeah. I am kind of tempted to add a little bit of this like, what sort of shade would you call that? Kind of like, almost like a teal, but not really. Shall I? Yeah, why not? A little bit right in the center, just to make it pop. Oh yes, good, good executive decision there. Oh, oh I love it. It's kind of like brings it to life a little bit more. I got a little bit carried away with the liner, but I low-key kind of love it. I decided to add a little bit of this blue liner on like the outer part of the eyes and I'm still looking at my eyes and getting really angry about the fact that they are not even, but it's fine. So I think now I'm actually gonna use a little bit of the blue smart color mascara. I don't remember the last time I used blue mascara, but I'm gonna put some of this on my lower lashes. And if I hate it, I'll, I'll just cover it up. So let's try this. This should make my brown eyes pop. But like if you want to experiment with colored mascara, use it on your lower lashes. Cause it's not like crazy noticeable, but you can kind of like wean yourself in there a little bit. Saying that, I don't really feel like either side looks better to be honest, but we're gonna even me up. I like that they've come out with different colors though. I think they've got like dark blue one, purple one, green one, brown one, black one, like lighter blue one, maybe a white one, I don't know. but. I like that they've come out with that. I feel like that, yeah, yeah. Kinda do wanna add a little bit to like the ends. I'm just going all out right now. This probably isn't gonna be that noticeable because obviously it's already dried, but just a little tint. I do like this eye look though. Don't know where I'd wear it, but I wanted a blue intense eye and that is what I've got. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and put on my lashes. I just have these natural effect ones here, again from Kiko, and I might put on a couple of fake freckles as well. That's what I'm kind of feeling. I'm gonna sort out my hair, take off the piece of toast, stunning, and I'll show you guys the finished look. Oh. Wait, I love this. This eye look, I love it. I thought, like before I did the freckles and the lashes, I was like, I like it, but this is like a picture makeup. No, this is like night out makeup for me. I freaking love all the blue. I am obsessed. I love it with the lip, I love it with the blush, I love the highlighter. <coughs> There's still powder lingering, lingwing, linguini, linguinying around here somewhere. I'm obsessed. Now the hair's done and I don't have a piece of toast on my head anymore. Let me know what you think, because I actually love it. Okay, let's actually talk about how the makeup is looking. It is all actually looking pretty good. I don't like a little bit of texture, I'll show you guys in the macro, under my eyes, and I feel like maybe I would have loved a little bit more coverage from the BB cream, but it's a freaking BB cream. Like, I just wanted to try a product from Kiko that I haven't tried before. Whereas if I was doing this makeup again, you know I'd be like troweling the foundation on. But yeah, now it's all come together. And now I have cat hairs in my eyebrows. I really, really like how this looks. I'm actually really, really obsessed. And it's, it's really sad because I can't do a check-in today because I've got to go and film TikToks. The hard life of an influencer. Um, but yeah, I love how this actually turned out. I'm gonna be doing this eye again and I love it with the brown eyeballs. Yeah. So anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it here for today. Let me know what you think of this makeup look. I feel like it was literally like the biggest roller coaster ever. I literally just put makeup on my face for the past like 20 minutes, but crazy roller coaster. Whoa, hold on to your seats. Hold on to the person in front of you. Throw her at the trolley. But yeah, sadly, because I really freaking love this, I'm gonna be taking it off because I have to film some other TikToks, but I will be taking pictures. If you see them on Instagram, give them a like. Thank you so much. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. Let me know what you guys think of this finished look and the eyes especially, because I freaking love them, even though they might be slightly uneven. It is what it is. I just, I just turn my face to the side this way and then you can't really see. But yeah, I love this look. Loads of the products performed really, really well. I'd have to say my favorites were the highlighter. Is this the highlighter? The highlighter. 
Oh, there were quite a few good things. I like the highlighter. I like the eyeshadow palette because I really, really like that shimmery blue. Not a Kiko product, but this liner from Illamasqua, really good. And I also really like the blush. Like I said, I don't normally go for this sort of color, but I actually feel like it works really, really well with this eye. So as always, everything will be linked in the description box down below. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Probably should have said that before, but I didn't. So if you're still here and if you haven't done it yet, Thank you. I hate myself in this video. I'm really sorry. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Just said that bit. If you enjoyed this video, thumb, blah, blah, whatever. Good, good chatting to you. Sorry it was a mess today. But the makeup, if I do so say myself, slay. Big fat slay. And now I have to take it off. And you can bet that if I ever try to recreate this look, it's not gonna work out like this, is it? No. It's not gonna work out like this. But I love it. I hope you do too. I'm trying to make loads of facial expressions, but I can't because all of my Botox is now kicking in. And I'm just like, I'm smiling, I'm shocked, so angry. Wait, oh no, there's still some movement. This is good, this looks, why don't people do like, why don't people pose like this for makeup photos? This looks, this looks really good. Anyway, bye, good chatting to you. Uh, everything linked down below. Yeah, tell your animals that I think they're cute. Have a good day. Oh, my lipstick kind of matches the can. Bye bye. Bye bye driver, bye bye, bye bye.